Adam Varjiskin against Felipe Pena. Wow, that's... I don't think, Roberts, I don't think this fight will go five rounds. Do you think so? Bro, Lil, um, I don't... I, I, I prefer if it went five rounds. I'm actually, I've been here for a while. This is, you know, you know, match 15, so... But I never get tired of doing this, bro. This is so much fun. So if it goes for five rounds, I'm happy. I'm sure the fans at home feel the same way. But, you know... Man, five I, rounds, it's... With those guys, the way that they fight, I think there will be a time that Look, we will be come out. Bro, I'll be completely frank. I think that it's fair to say that Felipe Pena is He's the a favorite. favorite. Yeah. yeah. But Adam surprises me more and more every time I see him. I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't take him lightly if I were Felipe, man. Like, I, I'm sure that he doesn't, uh, but you can't sleep on the guy. He has a very unusual style. He basically plays a butterfly guard. Okay, with no. what Beautiful take down. takedown. Look, but remember, the hook sweep that. Uh, Adam has is, is it's one the, of the hardest probably in the, the best game. in the business today. Yeah, I, mean, I like Butterfly Guard. I, I, I would say it's my game type thing. Like, I'm very comfortable there. He's but so this good. guy, because Felipe has his head up. I, most people, when they play a Butterfly Guard, they require their opponent with their head down, and that's where they're most efficient. Mm -hmm. Adam doesn't. He plays it when you're, you have your head up, like exactly Anywhere. where Felipe is. He has a hand on the collar, and he's completely content being there. And it's, it's a very unorthodox style, and you can't really prepare for it because no one does it. The problem... It happens when Adam gets the belt above the shoulder. That, that's oh, yeah, that's, no, no situation. But then, yeah, but then it's, that's like the, more like the traditional orthodox butterfly. But, yeah, you're right. That's what Tidede did so well, remember? Tidede got mm -hmm. that belt and he just launched you. I, I learned a lot from watching Tidede and Leonardo Santos, probably the best butterfly guard of all time, you know. But Adam just has this, this weirdly, you know, I've never trained with him. He's been in a few of my seminars in Poland. But he's got this really weird, funky butterfly guard style that makes it, it makes him a, a tough challenge for anyone, really, because you can't... And can, he's good on both sides. It's, exactly. You're not, you're not used to training with someone like that. It, it's very, very unusual. Felipe heavy on his knees there, up by two points. But remember, Adam started losing to Herbert Santos, too, and he turned it around. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you, with yeah, those guys, Adam, you cannot yeah, blink. Yeah, and Adam, and what I'm saying is, Adam is not the kind of guy that gets, you know, he's not going to get intimidated by a big name. He's not going to, you know, back down from, you know, someone like Felipe Pena. And the fact that he's losing doesn't, not going to stop him at all. He, I, see how much way? Adam wants to cross Felipe's grip across yeah. all the time to get him yeah. off balance. Yeah. You can see if Felipe is very... He's cautious. Yeah, cautious. Like it's hard to move in because you get light on your hips for a second, then you get lost. He's been so, Adam's been so active in a threat with that grip that makes Philippe back down because yeah. Philippe is on top, man. He's on fire. He doesn't stop. If you give him an, an inch, he he, he knocks him out. But the, 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 the strange thing is that he's forcing Philippe to do something he normally doesn't do, which is sit on your knees. Exactly. Uh, it's very, very. Um, and, and 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 Adam, the advantage of being an orthodox like Adam is that you're used to being in that position because that's what you do every day. Your tr opponents are not used to that because that is a style of guard that very, very few people practice. Now he's going to the warm corner now. Yeah, it's, it's one position that do a lot. He no. has the lapel, and he's definitely the one that Kina does. See, because oh, he has the, all the way left across foot the under. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? I've been doing a lot of things this now, and, um, and this is very difficult to deal with because You're it's stuck. harder to, to free that grip, uh, this, this kind of game. He needs to put Adam's left foot out of his between his legs, which is harder than put the left. The you, you the, which foot do you say? The left. His foot? left is inside, right? Yeah, his butt. You have to get rid of that foot. Philippe needs oh, to take it out, it's so it's harder. harder to take that out. You can't out. even reach for it. If it's exactly. on the outside, you can grab it. If it's on the inside, you can't. Correct. You gotta, and then yeah. for the for the warm guard, is the inverted. So the foot is outside, and it escapes yeah, to put yeah, between, I see what you're which is easier. Yeah, it's it's way easier. I can see that. Because you can't even get a good, a good latch on that angle. Well, now it's a good thing that Felipe did. He just pushed her up in a way that broke the grip. Broke the grip. I guess that's the way out and try to like break that grip. Mo really? Most lapel guards are like the best thing to do is try to break that grip. You don't always have great yeah. answers there. You just need to be careful with the balance, right? Because see, yeah. he, he, that's when he, Adam should put him foot in the. If you get exactly. too tall, you get off balance. Nice job, Felipe. Very good. Very good. Felipe has to hit the outside on that pass. I would be trying to pass the other way and bring definitely bring my feet up before Adam gets comfortable in that butterfly again. The thing is, Adam pulls himself underneath his opponents really well if they stand. See? That's one reason why Philippe doesn't want to stand up, because Adam just pulls himself underneath you very, very quickly. Yeah, he positions himself so well. Look at this. So active. So many things happen right now. 
This is end of round one. Ten seconds left. Like, there is a... Maybe they are a little bit tactic, but so many things happen, right? And um, if Philippe blinks, he's down. That's amazing first round. It's crazy. Uh, it's just something to exploit there. It's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big glitch in Jiu-Jitsu. So first round goes to Philippe. I wonder if Felipe is going to try another takedown, if Adam's going to pull. Uh, I don't think Adam's going to pull the first minutes. Yeah, but Felipe did a good job scoring that Look, point. He's getting where the color gray again yeah. to the left side. That's his takedown. I love the collar drag because it's, um, it's a high reward, low risk move. It's true. You know? Nice. Adam with a butterfly sweep. Very well defended by Felipe. Very well defended by Felipe. 15 seconds to the minute mark. Felipe still have the color. What do you think? I think after a minute it's going to be... Oh, nice. Again. Nice pick. Nice job by Felipe. He could finish. Three seconds. But Adam can't pull guard now. No anymore. He's got to defend that minute. single. He's got such a good position there, Felipe. Felipe. He, nice wrestling by Felipe. So good. And Oma Plata. Stuck in Oma Plata. Let's see if Adam can score those two points back on Felipe. Adam fighting out of Poznan in Poland. Representing Czech, Matt. Originally a student of Alan Finfo, good friend of mine. This color drag that Felipe has to the single is, is very good, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, but see how he switched that single to the double as he was running the pipe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pure. That's what GSP used to do over and over. He hit that. But GSP did the opposite. I'm sorry. He would go hit that double and then switch to running the pipe. Adam tried to put the foot on inside so to set up with the hook. Man, so I, bro, I'll be honest with you. I've never been caught in a steamer lock. I would never been caught one, but like it terrifies me to keep that foot anywhere near someone's mm -hmm. belly because mm -hmm. I can see how bad that could go. So it's just like I'm super cautious about where I put my foot there. Yeah. Um, actually, no, I lie. I got caught once. I just remember deja vu. I just remember I got caught. Now once. look, look at. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I can, I can see the wheels turning in your head. Oh my god. And it's just a scary thing. You can't sleep in that position, man. Man, it's I so mean, quick. This against hook sweep. This is the best threat. Once you have that threat, the hook sweep stops happening. I feel like it's people that go against the, the lasso too, right? If they don't have a good latch yeah, on your sleeve, yeah, especially. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to loop that arm, you better have uh, a good latch on that sleeve. Did you see that? Uh, Adam searching for the belt, but there was yeah. no belt. That's the down. I like to reach for the lapel a lot of times if there's no belt. I actually prefer the lapel over the belt. You prefer like, the lapel? If the I can reach, right? No, no, no. But in, underneath your armpit, not over. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has oh, to be under. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And yes. if I can get there, you're I'm really good in the, in the hook sweep. I, I yeah, I'm, 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 I'm decent there, like yeah. Gian Nogi. One of my favorite uh, techniques that you do is the one that you go to the kind of omoplata we use here. From, yeah. But it, it, it's, it's like it's I crazy. like I get under a, get the like We were talking about Tazi earlier today. Plata, That's right? how I swept them because he got to that Tazi pass, the Paulista pass. He put the foot and I just, his I neck. hit the omoplata from there. So good. Like, and it's not about the knee flexibility. It's about position, right? It's, I, I position the back of the hand on the ear. So I can, so he push, can push and the pull head away. at the same time. I push and pull at yeah, the same time. Exactly. Versus most people just push and just pull. I learned watching uh, you doing this. Uh, That's awesome. Now Felipe has the, you know, we call the dead man pass. When you what, what, what do you call it? Dead man pass. Dead man. Because look, the body gets completely stuck and then you yeah. pass to the other side. You, all, you can only give a pass with the back. Now Felipe's best, best position, position this is the back. Not good for Adam. Oh, he recovered. Looks like it. Yeah, I think... He's, this could be the, the beginning. Yeah, to the Felipe end. is very, very relentless about the back tackle. Yeah. Like he's very. Um, he gets from anywhere, man. Yeah. It's one minute to go. Felipe comes from an amazing performance in the last ADCC. Yeah, I think. Submitting Bushesha. Like, how many? When was the last time you saw Bushesha get submitted, man? It's insane. Oh, he defended really well now, Adam. Yeah, he tapped Bushesha in the ADCC. Like, I just can't remember. Man. I don't think I've ever seen that happen now that I think about I mean, Roger. But that, that's it, you know, yeah. those two. No, even Rodolfo managed it. Yeah. 45 seconds to go. Felipe almost took the back, and Adam escaped really well. That was like skillful escape, you know? He yeah. didn't that got desperate. Most people by this position get desperate. Yeah. And then so that thing gets worse. Keep in mind, Brolio, Felipe is winning the second round now, but both rounds by takedowns. He yeah. hasn't passed Adam's guard. In fact, no. not even close. No. He hasn't even gone close to passing Adam's no. guard. Like, he got close to the back there for a second, right? That was that. But I think that if Adam can stop those takedowns, 
and be a little more aggressive from he the bottom. He still has three rounds to go. Yeah. So that means that, you know, he can still He's, de he's definitely got to do something about that single. Like, he's gotten taken down twice the exact same way. And I, that's, that's where Felipe has had an edge on him so once. far. He, yeah. he got him caught With that right. butterfly sweep, yeah. right? Yeah, the pull to the sweep. Amazing round. Felipe won the second round. That's right there, That man. would be such a good match. So if Lowe wins the belt at the 75 kilo division, right? Or 85 kilo division, we could be seeing him against Felipe in the future. The light heavy weight title. So many good matches, so many potential great matches here at ACB. We're going to the third round of the last fight. Whoppa! Mm, nice good. attempt there by Adam. Well recovered by Felipe. Twenty seconds to go to the minute mark. Ten seconds. Felipe has the time for the corner. Five, four, three, two, one. I guess double pull. Yeah, uh, Adam, Adam pool. intelligent. Yeah, I, I, I good, Felipe's done a good job controlling that bottom arm uh, uh, of Adam. Well, the so is this, is, position. this is where Felipe's Leg got a drag. good shot at passing. If he can put Adam out of his element, prevent him from playing He's his He's pushing butterfly. his hip away. This He's so good yeah. at this. He's going to make him roll. Good That's a pass. Leg drag. That's a pass. Adam not in a good position here. Felipe Vanna yeah. relentless with the pressure. That's three. If you leave him free for one second, he, mo he sets moves it. too well. He's, he's a good combination of someone who has like really good pressure. I think now he found the way. Like, great agility as well. That's a good pass. Can you see he's going to his right instead of to the left? Trying to avoid Adam's strength. But like a guy like Adam, he's so good at shrimping and resetting his hips back into where he wants you to be. Like you said before, see, like... He had to, the only way that he passed was going to his right, and then yeah. I, you see Adam fighting to put him on his left. back where he wants to be. Yeah, yeah, it's his, it's a strong side, but like it's it's hard. You can see Felipe is more comfortable on this side too because he you don't see him attacking the other side as much. You think you can see Felipe going, This is where I should go, but you ever seen a situation where you're telling yourself to do something, but it's not like I said, part of your system, right? Yeah, it's not your default setting, so you. You lean towards doing the same things over and over, even though you shouldn't, or you know you shouldn't. But one thing that you cannot do is Beautiful let Felipe leg drag. See how, you know? look see at how that. much faster it was passing to the other side yeah. with the leg drag? Look at that. Now it's a very bad position. Caught the back. Felipe. Wow. And Two and a half minutes to go. Smart comparison. He got the points straight to the triangle. 7-0. And this is a 10-8 round. Wow. It's a bad position for Adam right there. The worst place you want to be is let Felipe on your back. Yeah, and with two he's minutes left, position ever. This, this could be t potentially be the end of the fight for Adam. Yeah. Let's see how his back escape goes. If I were Felipe, I'd be switching Oops, back to changed. That. Yeah. If I were Felipe, I'd switch back to that body triangle. Yeah, I think he's... It's or maybe he just prefer... The disadvantage of the body triangle, bro, is that you, it's hard to move. Oh, bow and arrow. Bow and arrow choke. This could be it. That's uh, it. It's a tap. Beautiful. It's a tap. Felipe Pena once again show the favoritism and win again the title of the light heavyweight against Adam Varjiski. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner and still champion, Felipe Pena. Your calling Vice President Arby here to deliver, uh, to give him the belt.